Huh. Don't push me. I wonder what happens if I press that. Ah, okay. Phew. But what if I separate the tiles? I go back and I tap it again. I wonder what will happen. Meep, meep. Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from product reviews to news to how-tos just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new content as soon as it's released. So in iOS 13.0, Apple kind of had a bit of a, a stumble. They decided to combine all accessories that had more than one service in them. So this meant that any power strips you may have had, any sort of humidifiers, not the vocal link flower bud, um, anything like that, all of those services would be combined together. Thankfully, in iOS 13.2, they went ahead and gave us the option to combine or separate those. And in this video, we'll show you how that works. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's have a look at some of the different types of accessories that this actually affects. The first one is a ConnectSense smart outlet. So this actually has two individually controllable outlets within the same physical unit. And as you can see by tapping on the tile itself, both of those outlets are controllable there. The next one that we'll look at is an EVE room, which has a temperature, humidity, and air quality sensor, which are all able to be used to control conditions and automations. Next up is a vocal link flower bud, which has a humidifier and a mood light, but as you can see here, they are combined into the same tile as they are in the same physical accessory. Last up is the Onvis SMS-1 motion sensor, which as you can see, has a temperature, humidity, and of course, the motion sensor. So as you can see, you might want to separate these this is easily enough done by tapping on the accessory, going to its settings by swiping up or tapping the gear icon at the bottom right, and then tapping show as separate tiles. So we can see now that we do have two separate tiles for our ConnectSense outlet. Let's go ahead and do the same for our EVE room. So we'll tap on that, we'll go to the same area, show as separate tiles, and voila, our temperature, humidity, and air quality sensors are now separate tiles. We'll go ahead and do the same for our vocal link flower bud. So again, we'll swipe up. We'll tap on show as separate tiles and voila, we have our humidifier and our mood light now exposed separately. Let's go ahead and do the same for the Onva sensor. So we'll go to the settings, we'll tap show as single tiles and as you can see, they're all now separated. We have the individual motion, temperature and humidity sensors all available there. So what once was four is now 10 and we now have the ability to see the individual readings from different sensors. We can toggle our lights on and off, our fans on and off, and this is, you know, it's really useful for that manual control if that's what you're looking for. However, I don't think it's too outlandish to think that you might actually want to combine some of these accessories once you have separated them. However, there's something that you really want to be careful with and that is grouping. So what grouping allows you to do is it gives us the ability to actually group similar accessories together to control them as one. Right, so before we had just one single tile for two accessories, this would actually control them as one single accessory. So you wanna be a bit careful with that. So all we need to do in order to combine any of our accessories is we select the service from the accessory that we want to bring back together into a single tile. We'll go into the settings as we did before, and this time we'll actually want to choose show as single tile. And as you can see, what once was 10 has now become much fewer and is back to the original four tiles. So this is really convenient when you want to try to declutter your, your home app, right? So you want that experience to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit more streamlined. That's how you do it. So it really is as easy as that. 
Now, one thing to not confuse here are groups. Groups are a little bit different. What groups do is allow us to combine different accessories of the same type and control them as just one single accessory. For example, in my dining room, I have two hue bulbs that are in the same fixture, and I go ahead and combine those together so that I can control them as one single accessory. And if you're interested in learning about how groups work in HomeKit, we'll leave a link right up there and in the description box down below. While having the ability to separate tiles is a good thing, and I think a lot of people are very happy about this addition to HomeKit, why would we want to combine tiles in the first place? So I actually, as you saw from the top of the video, I have an accessory, which is a ConnectSense Smart Outlet, which is controlling a fan that I have, but it also controls my Apple TV and my TV set. So I don't ever really want to turn that off. So what I did is I combined those so that it would be harder and more difficult to actually turn that off. Another advantage of combined tiles is kind of decluttering your home app. So if you tend to use Siri a lot to control devices, that's a great way to kind of declutter everything if you have these certain types of accessories. Also, if you tend to use scenes and automations as your primary way of controlling things, it can really declutter your home app and make things maybe a little bit more kind of linear and organized for you. But if you tend to want to go in and see different data and control accessories manually, it is a bit of a nuisance. But I'd like to hear from you guys on how you combine or separate tiles in Apple's home app. Let us know in the comments down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at My Home Kit Home, as well as the new and improved blog over at myhomekithome.com. We recently updated everything there and you can find loads of content, not only that we have here on the channel, but also written reviews of different products. We've also got links to news and, and just loads of home kit content, everything focused on home kit. So check that out if you're interested as always, if you found the video useful, you can let us know by smashing that like button. And if you're interested in more HomeKit related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new content as soon as it's released. Well, that about wraps it up for this one. I do thank you for watching and until I see you in the next one, this has been Dustin with my HomeKit Home.